Hello, welcome to this edition of Timeless Conversations. My guest today is a brother, a friend, and a mentor. Mentor not because of any other thing, but the fact that he does whatever he does well. And I like to learn from people who do stuff well. He's none other than Richard Mofe Damijo, RMD for short. Good Lake. to see you. Good to see you. Yes, Thanks. welcome. Thank you for having me. I believe that you know, but I think you will tell me what you do know truly. That if we were to write the story of contemporary theater, contemporary production, contemporary film in Nigeria today, you will have to feature prominently, you know. <laughs> well, you know, they say, they say for, for, for us, we just, we just do the work. Mm. And, and the historians like you, the, key, the gatekeepers like you, yeah. will be the ones that will etch it. You're also say. a journalist. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> In that profession, yeah. you never retire. You never retire, <laughs> right, right, right. So, but truly, what was the foundation? What was the fascination that I, I, got you into it? I'm a child of television. Mm. I'm a complete child of television, a child of films and everything. I mean, um, I was one of those who will run after mobile cinemas. In those days. In those days to find, up, find out where they are setting up. Mm -hmm. so we can get the front seats. Mm. <laughs> you will sit on the ground and wait for the commentator. You know, it was silent. Yes, it was silent, yes. But they will, they will run the commentaries. They run the commentaries, yes. And when television, when you discover that there is a man who owns a television set maybe like a few miles away, away yes. you, and they, they start at... The man opens his window probably at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. We start the trek from around 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. Yeah. to get to the, to the good spot on the window. Yes. <laughs> before my father bought his own yes. his own television. So I knew from an early stage that I would love to be one of those people mm. inside the inside box, the box talking, you know, so that people can also watch. Yeah. You know, and when it was time for 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 university. Uh, theater was the obvious choice. Yes. Um, my illiterate mother, who didn't know what theater was, mm -hmm. had to uh, discern from her cousin, who we call Uncle London, mm -hmm. who was supposed to be dropping me in the university the next the next day, who was very upset with with me that I was going to school to play. That's your uncle. <laughs> my uncle. He was like, this boy is just going to play. You know, I don't know why you are, why you let him go to university to go and play. Yeah. You know. Uh, my mom started crying. And uh, as an only child, her tears usually will break me. Yes. And I, I cried and I said, look, it's okay. I'm not going to play. It's serious. But you will see me on television. That's, that's the only thing I can let you understand. Mm-hmm. And she was like, she looked at my, at, at my uncle and said, is it true? Is he going to be on television? Said, well, yeah, if he, if he does well. <laughs> <laughs> and as God will have it, in my second year in the university, yes. uh, I think it was Ifanya Yafulu or something like that, somebody that came to watch a stage play in Uniben, mm. saw me on stage and asked my lecturer to let me come for an audition mm. at NTA Benin. Mm. I went for the audition, I got the part. It was a lead role, yeah. it was a character called the Mecca, and it was about the Osuke system. Osuke system, yes. yes. Uh, TV script was written by Bob Ejike. Bob Ejike, yes. yes. I yes. know him. Echoes of Wrath. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, the, no, the Wrath, wrath of, of the, the gods. gods. Yes, the Wrath of the Gods. And that was uh, that was my my claim to fame. Mm -hmm. I, I so we did the the the, the TV uh, uh, play. Uh, it was the entry for Bendel, uh, uh, the Bendel, Bendel you know, television, te service, television yeah. service, and we won oh. the national the, mm. uh, competition. I didn't know what that had done for my image, mm. but 
I can tell you that when I went home after that semester, mm. after the play had been, yes, shown, had been shown, apparently it had been repeated a few times. Yes. So people had known that it was me yes. that was in that thing. Exactly. And they had, my mother, of course, had already be, become popular. So when I got to the market and they cited me, it was mayhem from, because I didn't know what had happened. Mm. But they started shouting, hey, Maker, hey, Maker, and they carried me, they danced. <laughs> around the market. <laughs> danced around the market and dropped me in my mother's shop, by which time the, the, all her friends had taken, mm -hmm. you know, choice positions, yes, yeah. you know, to welcome me back home. And, yeah. and uh, it was that, it was, yes, it was at that moment that, um, you know, I knew that I had made the right choice because yeah. that feeling, you know, it stays with you. Yes, it does. It stays with you. And this was just me in school. Yes. Uh, I mean, imagine if I now went on to become something else mm -hmm. nationally. Yes. Um, again, when I came to Lagos mm. after youth service, again, it was stage play. Mm. I was, because that's my forte, I was mm. on stage. Danla de Bako mm. had come to the theater and saw me, and he had invited me to come to NTA yeah. for an audition. Yes. Then it was Sparks. Oh, yes, Sparks. Special Protection Anti-Crime Squad. Yes, yes. <laughs> But um, we had a little thing. I, I, but I, I'm very prompt. Mm. If I'm going to be late, I will call and I say I'm going to be late. You know. In fact, sometimes people say I, I get ridiculous because I can call and say I will be five minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So uh, we we our path kept crisscrossing. Mm -hmm. When he says be there at two, I will be there before two, but he might not be there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, long story short. The first day that he was supposed to audition me, he didn't see me mm. because I had gone. By the time he came, I had gotten mm. angry and gone. Yes. And the next, next time he saw me, he was like, you, 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 did, you didn't show up. I told you to come and do audition. I said, I showed up. You didn't show up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we talked about it and he laughed. And he sort of liked me and mm. said, you know what? I was going to give you a bit pass before, just one or two role, uh, uh, episodes, but I'm going to make you one of the detectives. Mm. And that was how I became a major cast mm -hmm. in that in, in, that, in that series that's like uh, how they started calling your mom mama maker mama yes as, so so you know i became nationally uh, recognized and um, of course i i became friends with tadi ogido mm -hmm. ogido went on to do hostages yeah hostages yes hostages and of course um, s s some of my most important works yes. were done with him. Mm -hmm. um, I did um, Diamond Ring. Yeah, Diamond Ring. That's, Diamond that's Ring a, was, that was, was, a some, song or? was something else. Yes, I mean, you know, and then a certain young lady came into the scene. Mm -hmm. Her name was Amaka Igwe. God mm -hmm. bless her soul. Bless her soul, yes. And Amaka, you know, cast me in um, Checkmate. Checkmate, yes. Checkmate was already in episode 10 when I joined. And so I needed to make an impression. Mm. <laughs> I needed to join quickly <laughs> and make an impression. And I remember when I was building my character, I started doing this mm -hmm. as Shego Kaderi. Mm. And then I dropped my voice to an octave, yes. you know, like, a, like a, a lower. And so when I appeared on, scene, on the set the first day, I I didn't I didn't spare anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. Yes. And again, uh, I haven't seen. I think I think I heard we lost him. Balaji Daudu. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think I think we lost him as well. So Amaka is gone. Da Balaji. I remember a scene that uh, that made me an instant hero on yeah. the set. I remember that uh, I was with the, uh, Ego Boyo, yes. who was an Hathrop. Yes. And I remember, I think it was, her, I went to her office. And as I was talking to her, I did like this. I, 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 yes. I tapped my leg and I put my legs on her table. Yes. You know? And I could see the shock <laughs> rock. <laughs> and then the director was like, you know, kill <laughs> You know, so it became a thing for me, you yeah. know, when I get to office, I tap my leg and I put it on the table. Answer. Just show disregard or something, you know. Um, so I, from, from early on, I, I came in and 
enjoyed myself. Mm. Um, I enjoy everything I do. Everything that has to do with this business, yes. you know, or anything that is given to me as an assignment, mm -hmm. I will do it to the best of my ability as if my entire life depends on it. Yeah. And that has been my motivation for everything that I do. Um, little did I know that uh, 62 years later, mm. it will become like the hallmark of, you know, my success. It is actually the hallmark of your definition. You know, so I, I, I look back now and I'm saying, thank God for loving my work mm -hmm. and not minding what anybody else will say around me. Yes. You, you know, because you, you, you are given a name if you work too hard. If you work too hard. Yeah, I used to be the... Uh, uh, and all of that. I used to be the world gecko uh -huh. of the studio. In Who the does he think he is? Yeah, why yeah. does he have to... Why do you have to always overdo yeah. it? You can just... Manage, yeah. They will manage it. Like, yeah. no. But then, you know, it's strange. It's funny. It's against the drift. For someone like you who, well, as an only child, one would expect to have been spoiled silly by your Oh, mother. my mother, God bless her soul. She will wait for somebody like you to come visit me. When all my friends come, then she will start shouting. <laughs> she will start screaming and crying. Mm. And I will be begging, like, calm down now, my friends. I say, no, let them know how you treat me. <laughs> <laughs> Her common phrase is, uh, uh, when I say it in pidgin, it's sweeter. Yes. Say, if person born one picking, then they die put. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to talk to you with my eyes. Yeah. If I look at you, you're supposed to know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? Nonsense. Ah, I will start begging her to calm down. My mom will raise me. Yeah. Will lift me over my ear. Yes. You know, so she said to me, this one child that I have, you will be like 20. Yeah. You will cook, you will clean, you will be a girl, you will be a boy. You will do everything that a child Ought is to supposed do. to do, yes. Mm. So from age 10, in fact, from age 8, mm. I was cooking. You know, mm. till, till date, it's, it's one of my... My superpowers. Yes. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was dating your sister, she, she couldn't she couldn't cope. She she had to run to her auntie to learn. To learn. <laughs> she said, I just yeah. <laughs> She would eat in my house and like which of your girlfriends did this one? I said, It's uh, not my girlfriend. I, I did. <laughs> I, I have it. my mother's child. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you so, know? So really, you know, I for me I think that that background fired you up too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah just to pursue excellence oh yes my i mean um i don't know how um, anybody that doesn't have strong parental mm -hmm. guidance can cope mm -hmm. you know i mean because mm -hmm. there's so much there's so much distraction out there yeah for us it's not even as bad mm -hmm. you know growing up mm. but today it's terrible from games mm. the phone alone yes. the distraction of the phone alone is too strong I don't know about you, but I mean, when we were young, in my, in my teens, mm. what we did was to look for those people who sell books. Yes, how to buy. You would buy Hadley Chase and yes. you stack it. And then you start to read. Yes. Right? There's, there was usually a competition. Of course. How to read. So how to read. You will, when it was now the time of... Uh, of uh, Leon Uris. Yes. You know, the born identity, all those exactly. things. Exactly. You will start to read, came. and you know, the bigger the novels, the yeah, better. The better. And then if, there, if it was comics, you read so much. I mean, we will, we will fight about books. Yes. We will, we will, you know, you say, oh, how many have you read? Yeah, you will yes. stack it. So now, all of that is gone. It's gone. All of that is gone. I don't know. They are not even reading books on Amazon or mm -hmm. e-books. No. Mm -hmm. You know, I still, I remember earlier when I started, uh, when we got married, uh, my wife would say, why do you just load your suitcases with books? Mm. I have a thing for hardcovers. Mm -hmm. I just buy hardcovers. I mm -hmm. love hardcovers. I love to turn the pages. Yes. You know, uh, so, you know, all of that gives you the discipline to mm. be able to so, so so today one of the biggest things that 
people our age deal with mm -hmm. is to be able to adapt and switch. My switch, yes. Yes, to this mm -hmm. digital age, to, yeah. to be able to match the energy of these young people. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, some of us didn't, uh, we were not able to make that switch. That's what I wanted to ask you next, yes. actually, that yes. how were you able to make the switch? And don't throw the question back at me, Okay. right? <laughs> <laughs> How were you able to make that switch? Because here you, there you were, you were very strong on uh, theater, the stage, right, television, and then movies came in, then technology came in. Came in. I, 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 I had children early, mm. and so... Um, I had also the f good fortune of being a Sunday school teacher. Mm -hmm. I was teaching teens. Yes. And I handled, when I was handling these teenagers, I could see the rate at which things were changing. Mm. Um, I used an illustration of my children to, 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 to sort of gauge how technology was switching. And those things were the, were the signposts for me to mm -hmm. start to change with them. Yeah. When, when, when they were in, when they just first went abroad, when mm -hmm. I go to, to stay to America, they come stay with me in my, in my, tea, in my, in my hotel room. Mm -hmm. And they will fight, the two of them, take our men and will fight over remote control. Mm -hmm. Daddy! Ah! He, he, he doesn't want me to watch this. You know, after a while, I discovered that when they come to my room, mm -hmm. they just want to jump in the bed. Mm -hmm and pull the duvet and hold their phones underneath the duvet and my television is there, they don't touch it. You had your piece? I had my piece. And they were in your own world? And I was looking at this, you know, I would say, time to go to bed, turn off your phones, but they will turn off the phone the minute I go to my own room, Boom. they are back on. Yeah. I saw that switch yeah. and I knew that one had to keep up. Mm -hmm. And keeping up meant understanding what was going on. Yes. Understanding that television was gradually migrating from the wall mm -hmm. to the, to to the, the hand, palm. To the palm. Yeah. And, and it also meant that we needed to work smartly. Mm -hmm. you know. And that is what you find today, even among the young people. Yes. Why do we have YouTube millionaires today? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and people are still saying, they are looking for who to help them. Yes, yes. There are boys who started streaming from their phones. Yes. There's a guy called Item mm -hmm. who I did, who does all these things with his phone. I did my, one of my birthday things with him, you know. He records with his phone. Yes. He edits everything oh, with his phone. phone. Yes. And today, he's a brand influencer, all kinds mm -hmm. of things. And so when young people come to me, sometimes I say to them that if you are not lazy, you will understand that you do not really need mm -hmm. anything anymore yes. than that. that. Everything is here now. Yes. You, you need to make the switch. Well. Find out what other young people are doing mm -hmm. to ensure that they can beat the odds. Mm -hmm. You know, because now to be an entrepreneur means owning your own thing. Yeah. Being able to do it yourself. Yes. That's what being an entrepreneur is. Yes. So this is the age of entrepreneurs. We, mm -hmm. we, have, come, we, have, we, have, we have seen the dot-com billionaires mm -hmm. and all of that. Now you can sit in your room mm -hmm. and use the tools that are available and go viral in one second. One second. Once Look at viral. what happened to us when we were under lockdown. Yes. The Nigerian economic space was transformed by these young people who were solution-based providers. providers. They yeah. were looking for solution. If you needed to move money, they were looking for solution. And mm -hmm. what was the biggest thing we had? PayPal. Yeah. These boys made billions. Yeah. You know? And today, look, there's Flutterwave. Mm -hmm. There's Spig events. There yes. are all kinds of things that this, these kids are redefining, yeah. you know, the entire space economically, socially, and everything, even to, the, to, to, to how they organize uh, 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 governmental resistance or leadership resistance oh, yes, and yes. everything. Yes. Twitter is a tool. Yeah. We saw the Arab Spring and everything, mm -hmm. and today in Nigeria, we have our own kind of spring. spring yeah. You know, we saw all that 
yeah, play yeah, out yeah. during the elections, yeah. you yes. know. Yes. So we, 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 for me, I have one, I'm a trend watcher, mm. and I like to be able to be able to at least navigate it. Mm -hmm. You know, I might not be an expert in it. Mm. It is the age of AI now. Yeah. How can you sit back and not be able to deploy AI, AI. to help yourself? Yeah. You know, so we all need to, 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 to keep, you know, watching these trends and see how we can switch and not be, not become dinosaurs overnight. In fact, it's a di <laughs> dinosaur effect that I actually wanted to leap onto yes. that, you know, that switch that you made, something must have informed it beyond technology it, in it, it, your career. Yes, it's the zeal to survive. Yeah. It's the zeal to survive and be in the very top mm -hmm. of the, being at the, at the very top of the food chain. Mm. Because the minute you, are, you drop off, mm. To climb back up there is very difficult, if, pos if possible. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. It is. It is so. It is so important that you must keep up, mm. and keeping up means, you know, researching, mm. reading, you know, asking questions, mm. and, and 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 being able to to unlearn. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can't sit in one place and say, "Oh, I've done this for forty years." The, the, the truth is that yeah. you, for instance, you you read theater. And then you went to read law. Yeah, yeah. It, it was the pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge is never wasted. Mm -hmm. And I, and for me, in fact, people people look at me and say, "Oh, you knew you were going to go into government." I said, "No," mm -hmm. but it made me ready. Yes, it made me. So today, my credentials, my credentials are good enough to hold any kind of public office. Yes, apart from having put in time yeah. into work because. Post graduation, this is forty years, mm -hmm. so I can hold any public position today because um, I qualify for it, both experientially and, of course, academically. And academically, you know. Right, and then having read law, you found it easier to navigate the law aspect of your job. Of my so today, um, I have I have I can't mention names, but. There are, pe there, are, there are people that are being exploited on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. There are corporations who will just grab your stuff and use it and, use it, yes. and hope that they can just stampede you. Mm. And they did it to me, Leko. Mm. Yes. A corporation actually did it to me, took my program mm. that I created myself and slammed it on their channel. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, this, is, this can't be happening. Yeah. They know me. Yeah. They see my name, yeah. and nobody comes to me to say, we are running this thing or on we our want channel, to run this. or we want to run this on our channel. Instead, I'm getting reports. Yeah. So we just did video recording, and I told my lawyers, like, go make the approach. And at first, they were trying to be like, oh, no. They... But when they saw the facts on the table, and I said, I will, if this will be the last thing, if this is the last thing with my last breath, I will teach you not to do it to, to another person when I'm done with you guys. Mm. Also, they had the good sense to quickly start appealing to my human side. <laughs> and of course, we settled out of court, but yeah. you know, not without their paying something. Yeah. Yeah. So that enablement comes from, from, from having gone to school, studied law, and, 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 and also being able to still stay within that, that uh, uh, aspect of the law. Mm. Teach younger uh, uh, lawyers about it mm. because there is just so much. In today's world, you cannot be talking about content, 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 content mm. without seeking to look at the people who are producing the content and protecting them because yeah. content goes across, across boundaries. Yeah. It is without borders. Yes. And there is so much in there legally. Mm. The legal reg regimen for that, for that whole you know, uh, body, of, body of, work. of work. It's it's amazing, mm. and there are lawyers who are still saying, "Oh, I want to enter into the entertainment space, but uh, I don't know what to do." When the entertainment space is already surrounding you, the entertainment space is begging you to come in because what happens in Nigeria is that you the, people look at practitioners and expect practitioners mm. to be the ones to be the change in mm. whatever they're doing. I want to come in and clock in as an actor on a mm. daily basis. So I would rather that, I'm, uh, that a banker yeah. is watching the figures mm. and watching what the data is saying yeah. about my work. Yeah. Instead of you waiting for me to come to your bank to tell you, oh, 
there's so much money in this work that I do, come and give me the money for it. As opposed to them coming into the space mm -hmm. and looking at it and seeing how they can. Okay. We'll take a break now. When we're back, we're going to talk about something that I know is very dear to RMD, which is mentorship, mentoring the younger generation. A few big names lay claim to him being their mentor. Stay tuned. You're welcome back. It's still Timeless Conversations, RMD. Let's talk about you. You have given a lot of your network, your space to younger people. Every time uh, Alibaba speaks of his sojourn in Lagos, your name is within the first two or three sentences. Ah, I just go meet them, show me the way. Why do you do stuff like that? Because, because I, uh, I have had the, the opportunity of also being embraced and mentored by some of the biggest names in the industry. Um, I met Uncle Olu Jacobs. Uh, I met Uncle Peter Doce. I met um, uh, Professor Wale um, and so on and so forth. Now, somebody doesn't have to you don't have to be with somebody in close proximity mm. to be for the person to be your mentor. No, it, you know. So you 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 see them, you love their work, and so you you aspire to want to you know uh, be like them or be even bigger than what they have done. And and so for for me, every for me every every time that younger people come to me, it's a teaching moment. Mm. I was born to teach. I teach, mm. and and so. Uh, I've had the privilege of, you know, encountering people like Ali, uh, Ali Baba, yeah, yeah. you know, when he first came into Lagos, you know, and uh, what I liked about him was the, was the hunger, mm. you know, um, not very many people will come to you and say, oh, I'm a comedian, and, mm. and, and, and I, I funny die, and I say, well, make me laugh now, mm -hmm. and there and there he just, he went at it, yeah. for the next 20 minutes I'm the one begging, okay, <laughs> he don't do you that. funny, it's okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, you know, so it, it was a joy for me to be able mm -hmm. to uh, to work with him and take him around and show yeah. him the ropes. Yes. You know, um, I I I had similar encounter with uh, Moody. Moody. Yeah. I remember I was mourning when Moody would come to me and say to me, "Bros, as I be so, I just need help." You know, I was in mourning my late wife when. I got tired of listening to this young man. I just called my younger brother one day and I said, you know, I think it was at that time in 96, mm -hmm. it was about $18,000, uh, 18,000 naira or so that he needed, mm -hmm. or 27,000 uh, naira that he needed for his shop. Yeah. And I gave it to my brother. And I said, go and pay this money to the landlord. That's it. And I turned to him and I said, don't make me regret this, <laughs> this, investment. this, this investment in your life, you know. And, Today, the man owns an entire street yes. with his fashion brand. Yes. Uh, I'm very proud of him. Yeah. Um, in fact, after that first rent that I paid, mm. he came to me again. I said, ah, bros, I need more money. <laughs> <laughs> so this time, you know, I, I want you to be, you have shares in my thing. You, you'll be my partner. And I said to him, what would you think if tomorrow you now make money. I will not come and say, hey, how far? Today, how much you don't make money? I will not give me small thing. And if you have gotten married, I am gotten married, and our wives will now be looking at each other like, ah, this one just comes here to take money. I said, don't worry. So I gave him money again. I said, mm. I don't want any part of it. Just, just do well. Do that's, well. that's all I want. Mm. You know? And uh, I'm happy to report that he's done well. And he's, he pays it forward yes. you know, as well. Um, of course, Bovi, yes. uh, it was me that gave him his first job. He was my PA. Yes. Uh, Tell you, Babyface, I took him under my wing. Yes, uh, you were even in a diamond <laughs> ring. Together, together. Yeah, together. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. I had that forgotten was, uh, about him, yes. but when I was in Unilag, he found his way to me. And yes. till today, he's still under my wings, and I, I'm happy to help. And AY, mm -hmm. you know, so um, I'm happy. 
mm. that that you know I'm in a position to inspire younger people. Younger there are younger people. actors today that um, not very many people knew know that um, uh, I ran a I ran a workshop, mm -hmm. an acting workshop where Desmond Elliott yeah. was one of my students. He was yes, Whoa. yes, he was one of my students, and you know. You can tell, yeah. because good work is light. Is. Knowledge is light. Yeah. I remember at the end of our course uh, of, the, of, of my workshop with them, and I said, "This one, you, you will go far." Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know. Um, I remember Zemejiro saying to me one day that, uh, "I know that you train this boy, but you have to tell him to stop trying to act like you." Wow. <laughs> you know that he has to find his own. I said, "Don't worry, leave him. He's young. He will." Okay. He will, he, will, he will define himself, you yeah. know. For now, this is, you know, I'm, I'm happy today. Yeah. He's, he's killing it as a legislator and also as a film producer and all that. So, yes. yeah, um, I'm happy to to be of uh, of help. There yeah. are so many more that there are people who see me and say to to me that, um, oh, because of you, I read theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of you, I, my, my child is reading theater. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things that happened to me that day, I just broke down and cried. Oh wow. Um, when I was building the Molly, mm. um, there was a day that I had run out of money. You know how you, mm -hmm. that day I was like, you know what, 12 o'clock, shut the... I didn't have money to even pay workers for the food day. I said, mm. 12 o'clock, shut the place down and let everybody go. When I have money, I will, go. <laughs> I will continue. So, uh, I usually would drive to the to my site around 5 p.m. Mm. So that day at 12 o'clock, I said, let me go and shut down the place. Mm. So I didn't get there till about one, and I saw them working oh. and all that. So I, I called the foreman, like, what's going on? He said, ah, that's uh, the owner of a school near my place there mm. just came and was asking that, oh, he always, she always liked this land. She wanted to buy this land. That who, who, who's the owner of this place? Oh, it's this uh, place. Oh, that's the young actor. So she left and sent, I think, 50 bags of cement hmm. to, my, to, to my site. And he gave instruction that don't, just don't t tell him not to come to me. I just, uh, just tell him, I said, welcome to the neighborhood, hmm. you know. So that day, I mean, I'm like, I never look for, I don't think I deserve anything. So when hmm. people show me kindness, hmm. I, I, you know, so I'm like, no, I'm going to go meet this woman. Yeah. I mean, why would she just give me 50 bags uh, yeah. of cement and say, I should just come and say hello. So I went to, the, to her school and, you know, I finally saw her. She said, oh, um, it's for nothing, you know. I said, but let, since you came, let me show you something. So she went to her filing cabinet and drew it out and brought out a paper plate and showed me the paper plate. And I saw my Autograph on you know that time there was no phone, no phone to do autograph and all that. So I saw my signature on the plate. I said, "Do you remember this plate?" I said, "I think I, 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 I think I remember that it must have been in London." He says, "Yes." He said, "My daughter saw you in London at a party in London and came to you and said she loves acting. She that you know." And you signed this plate. She, she, you signed her party plate that she was supposed yeah. to use to eat. You signed it and she kept it. Wow. He said, today, my daughter is studying theater because of you. Mm. She's specializing on radio and everything. Mm. I just started crying. Wow. You know? So, I mean, that for me, years later, a few years later, the data will come back mm. to Nigeria. And the woman calls me and says, ah, your daughter is around though. She wants to do radio internship. I said, leave it to me. Yeah. I got, I got a, a, a repair. Re re I called uh, Raymond Dopesi yes. uh, at the time, and they were happy to you know, put her on radio. And then, of course, the mother could hear her voice on radio. Of course. You know, so you know, when, when things like this happen, mm. you, you are thankful for the kind of life you've led. Yeah. That you can be. It, it's not easy to be a role model. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very tasking. Yeah. You know, because then you, you can't, you can't be, you, you can't have a break. Yeah, that's the <laughs> truth. In you fact, cannot take a break and, and, and do, and do, um, do rubbish. No, no. It, it is very tasking. If, 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 talking about it being tasking brings to mind the thought of you, say like since 1980, 
85 or 84. 84. You've been in Lagos, resident, fully resident, a citizen of the city or state, right? And you have been playing lead roles since the early 2000s. No, since 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 eighty four. I'm winding you. <laughs> since eighty four, because right. for stage, yeah. I transit transited into uh, 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 TV, TV, television, TV, and their movies. And movies. Yeah. What have you brought to your craft that sustained you as the go-to lead person, lead man in your career? It's dedication. Dedication, because when you, are, when you are dedicated to your craft, you will hone it, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, um, it's there. We are, we are all gifted in some way with something or the other. Mm -hmm. It is identifying that thing earlier on. Yes. So I, I have never, you know, even, even, even though I've served in government for eight years mm -hmm. and I'm a lawyer, I always will start by saying my name is Richard Buffett Amidio and I'm an actor. Yes. That's it. Full stop. Mm -hmm. You will discover in the course of our interaction that I'm a leader, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a life coach, mm -hmm. I'm a speaker, I'm a Sunday school teacher, <laughs> I can moonlight as a pastor sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm a lawyer and I'm a, I, I can be a politician, uh, you know. So it is, it is, it is that. So I... I imbue whatever it is that I that I'm doing mm. with everything that is inside me. I pour I pour into everything that is inside mm. that, that, that I'm, I'm I'm asked to do. Uh, there is something that I say, you know, and, and I'll say this in, in, in closing. Maybe that will help somebody out there. Mm. When they say the, the, the eyes are the windows to the soul, yeah. it is very true of actors and a camera. When, when the camera looks at the actor or films the actor on, on, mm. on TV or on film, it can see yes. to the soul of the actor. Mm -hmm. And if the camera sees, that means the audience, is the audience POV, is seeing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're faking it, yeah. they will catch you. They will. They will. You they will. can only fake it for this long. Yeah. Now, but if you are not faking it, mm -hmm. if you truly love the job and respect the job mm -hmm. and respect the people for whom you do it for, the people will find it. Yes. That is the convergence of God mm -hmm. blessing the work of your hand. Mm -hmm. So it is when that's dedication and respect for the audience mm -hmm. converges with God's blessing yeah. that you blow. Mm -hmm. Because the people can see you. Talking about blue, black book. Yes. <laughs> How well has it done? I've watched it twice. Oh, black book is probably, you know, it, people say. Some of my colleagues said to me, "Bros, you can now retire." Retire. You know, I mean, it's the it's it's being called the biggest African title ever to be streamed, because we did incredible numbers. We are. It's the first film that has hit the global number three. Mm. In Africa, no other production, even from South Africa, out of Africa, out of Africa, none has hit number three. Mm. Yes, none, none whatsoever. We were number one in South Korea, in Hong Kong. We were three in the U.S. at some point, three in U.K., three in Canada. You know, we just we took the whole world, okay. you know, by storm. You know. Yeah, they figure I heard the last time was like 17 million. We've, we've done over 17 million views. <laughs> See, you know how people always uh, calculate stuff for you? Yes. Yeah. So if they are returning, what's it called to you? Per stream? Per, per, per oh, you mean for, oh, you mean for money? Unfortunately, the, the negotiations are already done. Yeah. Before the... Yeah, usually. Yes, because you, you never know the you one that you But the beautiful thing is that you, you are up there now. You are a global... Yes. You know, yeah, you are, you are global a global brand, brand now. Yeah. People are, are seeing you globally. Yeah. It means that you only need to cap this yeah. to stay there. Yes. And, and, and then... Every other, every good thing will come. Will come. Yes. Mm, seek you first the kingdom of God. God. Yeah. Every, every good other thing, thing will be. Every good thing you. will come because we do everything to the excellency of His name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm not afraid to say I'm a, I'm a man of faith. No, oh, I know that. Yes. I yes. Know that. Yes.
Yes. Yes. Yes. This is the this is the is the last, is the icing on the cake. Yes. Yeah. Because I recall that people thought, oh, you're studying theater, so he's just going to be dancing. Mm -hmm. He's going to be playing. Out of nowhere, he went to read law. Yes. Right. So out of nowhere, what are you reading next? Well, I am going to do the Harvard course. Yes, I'm going to do something on leadership. Yes, just just to fulfill a yearning in my heart. It's a yearning. Um, I, it will it will come to it will come, it will be useful as as always because every knowledge is never lost. Yes. You know, I, I believe that um, the way leadership is taught now is very different from how it was taught yeah. maybe 20 years ago when I was going to go for that course. Mm -hmm. So I still think that it is something that never goes out of fashion. Do you have a political ambition? Absolutely no. <laughs> uh, but, 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 you know, like, every one of us cannot make change mm -hmm. uh, from only the political side. No, certainly not. Yeah. Um, I'm not averse to, to working, to mm -hmm. contributing my quota. I've done so at the state level. If, if uh, uh, nature ha happens to conspire to, mm -hmm. to put me at the national level to contribute my quota, of course, I'll probably... Actually, saw something that you did recently, uh, something about uh, 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 mortality. Oh, yes. Maternal yes. yes. I, I lend my voice and my name and my image to different kinds of campaign. Mm. Um, I'm a he for she. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm my mother's child. Yeah. And so anything that has to do with women's rights, I will, mm -hmm. I'm a champion for that. Yeah. I will stand up for, for women any day, any time. Uh, I bring up my kids to my sons to, to defend women, their sisters, mm -hmm. um, every time. Yes. You know, there's no excuse, you know, um, for that. Not that they are weaker, but that that's how we are wired. Yes. We are wired to protect and mm -hmm. to serve. Mm. And uh, uh, so every time that, I, that I'm called upon or I see an opportunity to uh, lend my voice to any kind of campaign um, that will make humanity better, yes. I will. I think that our problem is that we, we did a wrong turn mm. and we have all lost our humanity. Yeah, that's, you know, that's the, quite as, sad. As simple as the injunction of loving your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. It is that simple, yeah. you know. But then again, the man, man, man loves to complicate things. <laughs> <laughs> I find the solution to the complication. To, to the complication <laughs> that he created. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> so, but he, oh, on a regular day, yes, one would expect that you would be on set. So when you are not on set, what do you do? What are the other things you are involved in? Oh, I I teach. I teach a lot. Okay. And I speak a lot. I'm, like I said, I'm a life coach. Mm -hmm. So I find myself in different... Uh, in fact, nowadays I find that when I travel, mm -hmm. um, if I travel 10 times abroad every year, eight times I'm, I'm on invitation to teach okay. or to speak at, at different conferences. I speak at tech conferences. Yeah. People will be like, what is he, what is he coming to say? <laughs> you know, I speak at, at, at leadership and entrepreneurial conferences. Mm -hmm. um, I've spoken at, it's a thing that I just do. Um, uh, GB has invited me twice to mm -hmm. uh, Flutterwave. Okay. I've spoken twice in, in Flutterwave. Okay. You, 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 so so I, when I, the last time I spoke there, I have this pet theory. Mm. that um, the liberation of mm. Nigeria yeah. is going to be by a small tribe of these young people. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, I mean that because they are constantly providing solutions mm. for economics, for social things, these same people, this same small tribe, are the ones that will perfect biometric system and all of that and at some point in Nigeria mm. NIN, BVN, voters card and yeah. all of that will be linked. Yes. If you are not in the database, you cannot vote. Mm -hmm. So every voter mm. can be accounted for. The fraud or the discrepancies in our election in the next two, three election cycle would be reduced to less yeah. than 10%. Yeah. And that is from where the liberation will come. Mm -hmm. And when people think that 
the the progress right now is in fintech mm -hmm. and in and in technology mm -hmm. it is just a, a an adumbration of what is to come, to come. within the election so. within our political life yeah. because when you fix that mm -hmm. everything else will be fixed mm -hmm. look at what happens when you in in a in a hospital in Lagos State, and you mm -hmm. say that time when it started, it's like, oh, you know those smoking because you yes. go out, they say go and pay them. Yeah. They say no, don't pay them anymore. Go to UBA or go to that bank. Yes, no. and go and pay. Yes, <laughs> that bank, and immediately everything begins to change. Yes. that is what the application of technology does. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you start to apply technology to every phase of governance mm -hmm. and g gather the data. Mm -hmm. That change that you thought was impossible will begin to change. We can begin to hold all our leaders responsible mm. for whatever thing that they are not doing because we can fall back and say, you are not going next year. Yeah. <laughs> all the voters, we have all of them, we reach yeah. them and say, this, yeah, one, this one, say, no, entity is not going next year. And you will not go. And you, that's true. And you cannot win the process mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's, that's from where... So when I go to these places, I speak to them and I let them know that, look, you people are the change. Mm. You are the ones that will change this country. And it's not tomorrow. It's you are changing now. it now, but you think that you are doing it for money. Mm. But it is not for money. It's not the mm. economics of it. Mm. It is going to affect, it is from the economics that it goes to the political. Yes. And then leadership will have no choice. But, but all to, to bring everything under one, you know, uh, umbrella. We're going to stop now. Let me thank you for your time. Thank you. And uh, I want you to make a public commitment that uh, very soon you'll be back. Oh, that's that's easy. That's the camera. I'm, I'll, I'll be back when yeah. Lekon says, says uh -huh. to come back. No, when, <laughs> when you come back from your migration. <laughs> <laughs> that's our little joke. Uh, everyone, it's been nice having our brother, our friend, RMD with us on Timeless Conversations. We had Timeless Conversations, really. And I'm sure anytime we play this back, we'll say, okay, when are we doing it again? As soon as <laughs> you're around again, we're going to we'll do, do it. Thank you so much, Thank Richard. You Thank, Thank you for having me. Till next time, Lekon Gumba over here. Bye.